Hi, my name is Julio Arellano. I'm here to talk about what to do with your rain hand as you're playing and as you're hitting the ball. We'll start with the basics. When I start to teach my students and they haven't ridden before and they're learning to ride and to hit the ball, I tell them to put their hand on the horse's neck to help them with the stability. So they rest their hand here as they swing through the ball. Um, that keeps them from stopping and using, using the horse for balance. You know, maybe they're falling back, they pull back on the horse, or they're leaning forward too much. That gives them a good stability uh, position to, to learn to hit the ball. I'm just gonna demonstrate walking. First, putting my hand on the horse's neck for stability and then swinging through. Once, once you have a, a, a person that's been playing for a while and, or somebody that knows how to ride that's starting to play, then it's a little different. Then what we want to focus on are a few things. One would be stay out of a horse's mouth. You, you, you don't want to be stopping them or pulling on them as you're hitting the ball. You want to keep them stable so that they're not jumping around as you hit. Having said that, if you're coming into the ball and the horse gets too close to the ball, or too far away, you need to use your rein hand to pull them a little closer, a little bit farther, where you'll also be using your legs for that. Um, I think you should use your legs primarily, and then the reins second. So your hand will probably be about this position, six, seven inches above the horse. You wanna keep it here, and as you're coming, you hit. If you need to move the horse to the left, you need to move the horse to the right, Again, I'll, I'll say it again, but you don't want to, as you're hitting, you, you don't want to be pulling the horse up. You want the horse in a nice flow, nice stable position. Use your legs for direction, and if you need to, then you use your hand to help. 